So remember that we are going to uh, work with this. The goal today is to define this curtain wall, this double skin curtain wall with all these elements, the interior uh, curtain wall, it's already there. Then we need a structure with this uh, light uh, walkway between two layers so that people uh, can walk here and clean the glasses or replace panels if something's broken or whatever. Then we need a shading device that can be activated in summer and then uh, we move it up. We don't have this uh, shading in winter. And finally, we have the double skin, the, the outdoor uh, layer. Uh, this, and this is the image of our building. Okay, so now you have to decide uh, the curtain wall. Uh, we, we tried different options and this outdoor layer is up to you, but we have to work with this, uh, with all these elements to hold uh, this outdoor layer. Uh, we have already done it. So here we have the, the outdoor layer, but we don't know how this is connected to the structure because at this scale, if you're showing this section, it's not relevant how this is connected, okay? And now we are zooming in, we are working with this detail and we will try to understand uh, how we have done this. So the first time we have to do is Save your file with a different name. Save your file with a name, uh, I don't know, construction of a curtain wall or whatever, something. Uh, because we are going to uh, delete uh, most of the things that we have created here. Okay. So the first thing would be to uh, delete uh, all the elements that we don't need. Why are we doing this? Because uh, the, the file will be uh, extremely heavy if we don't uh, delete this, okay? So we're going to introduce a lot of details just here. And if we try to do this uh, with the whole building, it will be quite difficult. So make sure that we delete everything we don't need. Okay, if I need to delete something else, I'll do it. Yeah, I think we don't need it. This or that. So it's important, don't lose what you have already done. Uh, save the file with a different name, okay? Remember to save the file. And now uh, I think even, uh, well, I'm going to move uh, this curtain wall. Uh, sometimes uh, you see that we can select uh, the whole curtain wall, especially we have done this. And why? Probably because the, the mass is hidden. Okay, remember that this is a family. And if we want to select the, the curtain wall, we have to unhide uh, the mass. And now we can select it, okay? Because remember that this was a massing modeling and then we insert, we divided the mass and then we inserted a, a family, okay? But, um, and if we uh, hide the mass, we have the family. This is what we want to see in a render. But uh, if we want to select the, the curtain wall, we need to activate the, the mass. Then we can hide the mass again. But anyway, uh, we're going to move this here. Okay, uh, so we have a gap. I don't know the distance between these two layers should be something close to three feet. Hmm. I remember that last um, Friday, uh, we moved this 
closer to the to the steel structure. Okay, so as long as uh, the curtain wall uh, is not intersecting with this steel uh, column, that's fine. Okay, so we can have a small gap here, and there will be a connector. Okay, so this uh, mullion will be connected with this structure, as we have seen here with an, with uh, an element like this. Okay, so something that it's uh, connecting the steel structure and it's holding the the mullion. Uh, so here, uh, this is the curtain wall. Make sure that this is close to three feet. Now it is two feet and almost there. Well, it's uh, two feet and 10 inches. That's fine. Okay, something close to three feet so that uh, someone can uh, walk this uh, in a, well, comfortable. Uh, we're going to delete this thing because, uh, yeah, last time I told you that these two layers have to be connected. And when we are working um, with this, uh, just uh, having this bar, it's enough, but now we're going to do something more, something more complicated so we can delete uh, this connection here. And uh, I'm not working with this wall. And I want this on level 15. Okay, I think I have deleted the beam uh, there. So I want to extend this beam here. And here. Okay, so I want this horizontal beam there. Okay, the indoor or the steel structure is this beam on level 15, this beam on level 30. We don't need this one. And uh, I don't think we need this one. Okay, so there are things here that I don't need. We can delete and it's nice, it's very beautiful, but I'm going to delete all this stuff because it will make the the project heavier because what I'm going to show is just this. Okay, so I'm not going to show anything from this facade. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm going to keep this because I don't know if I want to explain both uh, walls with the same drawing or maybe I will delete and I will leave only like this, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is not bothering me that much so far. So I'll, I'll leave it and when it bothers, I will delete it. Uh, so that's the goal. Here we have the structural element, the structural truss. Uh, we have the first uh, curtain wall. The curtain wall is uh, adapted to the, to the shape uh, of the roof. Okay, so the first layer goes up to this way. And then we're going to make this curtain wall up to this point. Uh, we have to close this, but we have to close this so that we can let the air uh, go out if we need to. Remember this, okay, so we can let the air go out. So I will need to create a cap here. And uh, well, and I need this. I need the the, the the first. Then we need the this frame, 
then we need this walkway, then we need the shading devices, and then the, the outdoor uh, layers. And so far, uh, what we have is just the indoor uh, curtain wall and the outdoor curtain wall. So I need to do something here to connect them. But now it's not just um, connecting things or whatever. We're going to do something good, okay? So we are uh, working on this. We can be uh, working for a company uh, that designs uh, curtain walls or double skin facades or whatever, and we need to create a very good detail. So uh, we're going to analyze this because one of the things that I don't like, if I look at the elevation, uh, I see that I have a pattern for the, or I have a grid for the indoor uh, curtain wall, and I have a different grid or a different pattern for the outdoor curtain wall. It doesn't look nice, okay? So look at this. This is the, the indoor curtain wall. This is the indoor curtain wall, and the, the pattern of the outdoor curtain wall is different. Um, well, it's not nice. So we're going to fix it, okay? Because uh, when we created the, the uh, this wall, the storefront uh, curtain wall, uh, we didn't pay any attention to this design. So now we're going to do it. And to do that, we need to work with a section. Uh, so we are uh, working with this section. I'm going to place this section here and I'm going to look um, the other way. So now we are in this section. Okay, so here we can see the mullions, the curtain wall mullions, and here we can see the structure of uh, of this of the outdoor the curtain wall. Well, we can either change this family and add, or change the the mass and change the divisions, or we can change this curtain wall to match this horizontal mullion to this horizontal structure here. Uh, I don't mind. Uh, but I'll show you how to do this. So we can select this mullion. You see that this mullion is pinned, so we can't move it because it's pinned. If we want to, uh, to move this mullion, we have to unpin it. Unpin. Uh, unpin everything, okay? And now uh, we can use the, uh, the align tool. So we can align this to this, and now we can align uh, the mullion there. Okay, so if we do this uh, different times, here we have another uh, mullion, we unpin it, then align this line here with the, the axis there. Any questions, are you following me or? Okay, I continue. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to interrupt me or if you need more time to do it, uh, let me know and I'll stop, okay? But what I'm doing now is to adapt the pattern of the interior uh, curtain wall to the exterior curtain wall. So this is here in the middle, so I'm going to uh, connect this one to this one. So unpin the line. Select this and that. Okay, so I hope if we look at the, if we look at the 3D view, now we don't have this double frame there, as you can see. Okay, so it looks nicer. We see something here, but what's this? This is the, the structure. Okay, so. We have to see the structure. So we have the level 30 and the level 15 structural element. Uh, we have to see that, but at least we don't see the structural element. Then we see a frame for the, uh, for the, for the indoor uh, curtain wall, another frame for the outdoor curtain wall. It's confusing. So if uh, at least we align uh, the indoor and outdoor curtain walls, it will look much 
Much better. Okay, um, this is, uh, okay, so now we have to decide what, do, what we do here because uh, I haven't aligned uh, this mullion uh, to this on purpose because uh, I want to analyze what uh, we're going to do here. So you remember that we need an air inlet and since the, um, all that stuff, Okay, so we have the soil here. So there's uh, like a gap between the soil itself or the, the ground level and this. So we can uh, make the air enter here. And this is something that you have to understand. When we have a curtain wall, a hanging a curtain wall, it doesn't get up to the ground floor. It doesn't work. We need a gap, okay? Uh, and this gap is good because uh, it can allow people to, to uh, it can allow air, sorry, people, uh, air to uh, go through this uh, chamber because we need an air inlet. So we can have an air inlet here. And then we need an air outlet, either indoors or outdoors uh, here at the top of the, of the wall. If we have a lot of uh, different, uh, floors, a lot of stories, probably we would need an inlet and outlet every single floor. Here we only have to, well, this is a, a, a double volume space because this is a basketball court. So I'm going to create an inlet and an outlet. But if we look at some examples, uh, you can have uh, like this inlets and outlets every floor. You see here we have the inlet and here we have the air uh, outlet. And this is one floor and this is the second floor and this is the third floor. I'm going to do it only once. Uh, the inlet here and the outlet at the top of the, of the curtain wall. Okay, so this is the inlet and this is gonna be the outlet. But the inlet, uh, we can design something here to let the air in, that's fine. But here uh, we need to extend this because now uh, we can't allow a uh, rain to get into this double skin, into that space. Uh, we have protected the building with this uh, overhang. Okay, so at least if it rains, uh, this gap is protected, but I have to protect it more. And at the same time, we need to extend this and we need uh, louvers. Uh, to open the uh, outlet outdoors and to open the outlet indoors, depending if it's uh, winter or summer, okay? So here, I think we are going to design uh, this mullion. We're going to uh, unpin this mullion and we're going to move it slightly up. And I'm going to copy all these. Uh, So I need like a double, oh, gonna be copying. I'm gonna be copying the entire version. Oh, okay. So I can't copy, can't I? No, I can't. Okay, so apparently I can't copy the mullions. So what I need to do is to create uh, a new uh, mullion here in this curtain wall. Uh, by creating a new uh, grid, a new uh, curtain grid. Okay, so I want a horizontal element here. So you have to go to architecture, uh, curtain grid, and you see that if you uh, hover the mouse close to the vertical one, uh, we create a new grid with a new mullion. And now in the section, I have created this. So I hope that now I can select it pin it and now I can align this here or even hmm. 
interesting. I can't align the um, uh, the top of the mullion to this. Anyway, that, that that's fine. But what I want is to create here. So uh, between these two elements, uh, we will have something that uh, can be opened. Okay. Uh, and here I have to create something uh, else. We need a cap here so that the water doesn't enter. And then uh, we need to, to create louvers uh, to let the air uh, go out. So if we open this, the air goes inside. If we open this one, the air goes outside. We open this one in winter. We open uh, that one in summer. Okay. But this is the new uh, design of my curtain wall. Uh, I have adapted uh, this mullion so they match the, the outdoor layer and the indoor layer. I think it's fine. Here uh, we have this gap and on this gap we will have those uh, louvers uh, to let the air either go in or out. Okay, we're not designing a building, we're designing a curtain wall here. Okay, so this is... Uh, I don't know if uh, your capstone project, we, you will get to do this. Uh, I think it would be interesting if you're working with your capstone uh, and if you're working with, uh, especially for one of the competitions, if you're working with the competition, uh, I think the competition uh, jury uh, would appreciate the, if you design just a detail to work uh, with the curtain wall or, or the facade, Okay, uh, think about it, but uh, this is a high level uh, design. We're not just designing a building, uh, we are designing a curtain wall, and we are designing a curtain wall to taking into account uh, construction, uh, sustainability, uh, a lot of things, okay? Uh, but this is what I need. Okay, I'm going to uh, have this, and then I need to design something here uh, and there. Okay, so what's next? Um, on this 3D view, uh, look at the elements that we have. We have the internal uh, structure. So this is the real structure. This is the skeleton of the building, and we have... Uh, vertical, horizontal elements. There are two beams here. Uh, we have the truss in the other direction, but this is the skeleton of the building. So this is the structural skeleton of the building. And we have vertical, and then we have horizontal steel structure. Then we have the first curtain wall. This is the first curtain wall that will be hanging from the, the, the real structure of the building. So here we have mullions, uh, vertical and horizontal mullions. And here we have the third element that now it's uh, floating, okay? So we can easily connect uh, the first curtain wall to the steel structure by using uh, some of these uh, connectors. But as you can see, we need something to connect uh, the, the indoor structure and the outdoor structure. In this example, we are following, we have a frame here. Okay, so this three, number three, is structural frame. It's a structural, but uh, when it comes to the curtain wall, it's not the structure of the building itself. It's not the, the it's just a structure to hold uh, this uh, curtain wall, the outer layer to the, uh, indoor layer. And uh, what we have here, you see, it's just a frame. So you see that we have a frame like this. Probably it's made of aluminum and uh, well, it's just a rectangle. It's a rectangle and uh, we have these horizontal one, two, three horizontal elements. So it's something very simple. Uh, how can we do that? Uh, I will first let me analyze the Okay, we're working on grid three. Okay, so I'm going to work on grid three. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to create something by extrusion. 
and then I'm going to uh, fit this frame here. So this is the, the mullion. This is the curtain wall mullion. So I'm going to create another frame here. And this mullion has to be connected to this one. Now, uh, we created this family, but I think you see the, the problem. Uh, the structural element of this curtain wall is, if this is the grid line, this is rightwards. And the structural element of this curtain wall is leftwards. So again, we have to match these two elements. Uh, how can we do it? Uh, I want to edit the family. And uh, now I can't select the family itself uh, because I'm selecting the mass. So I'm going to, blah, blah. But uh, I want to hide in view. Okay, well, at least in this view, I can select uh, the family. So I double click. And now I'm editing the family. So what's the problem here of the original design? Well, we didn't know. Now we know more. Okay, so we can uh, select this. If I select the uh, this frame itself, we go to the top. Okay, so it's uh, we have the reference line and we go outwards. We have to go inwards. Okay, so how can we uh, fix it? Uh, we have to edit the profile. And this is the original uh, profile that we did. And we created this rectangle outwards. So now we have to copy this inwards. It's quite easy. So I select just this shape, I move it. Here, I finish this. And now if we look at the family, we can see that the frame now is inwards. Okay, now I load into the project, replace or overwrite the existing version. And where is it? Oh, I, I think I selected the wrong. So I'm going to uh, load it again. Load into the project, overwrite. Okay. So now you see how this has changed in the section and in the plan. Okay, so now the frame, the indoor curtain wall frame and the outdoor curtain wall frame, they are in the same position. You see? So those small details are would make, again, we are designing this specific detail. If you are showing uh, this section, you don't need to fix those details. So this is the maximum level of detail that you're going to uh, show. Don't do what we are doing now. But if you want to uh, create a call out, or if you want to explain uh, these kind of things. Now what we are doing is, is for that, okay? So now you see that uh, this mullion is aligned with this one. And, uh, okay, uh, we can, uh, now I'm going to create a frame here and then we're going to copy. We can copy one, two, three, four. The vertical mullions are aligned. Yeah, because I remember that when we created the masses, uh, we divided this in one, two, three, four elements. And for the this, we divided this in four elements. So uh, the vertical mullions are aligned. The horizontal were not, but the vertical mullions are aligned now. Uh, so we can create the frame here, connecting this mullion and that mullion, and then copy it four times. Or um, 
how many times we have it here. Yeah, apparently we have one, two, three, four. Okay, we can do that. Uh, that depends on the distance or between two mullions. Okay, so we can have four or just three, one, two, this one in the middle, and three. Or if this distance is too short, we can have only one and two here. Mm, anyway, we will decide that later. But first, we're going to create this. Uh, I got. Uh, we're going to create this uh, uh, frame there. Uh, we are in this section, and uh, now we're. Uh, I'm going to use it. No, sorry. The three D view. Uh, save. Uh, oof. Not going to save it. Okay. Remember that we have to work on read three. The problem is that here I don't see that. Okay. I'll work with the section, but I want to look because this is grid three. If I'm going to work with this section, but I want to show the grid three, I have to change uh, the section view to this side. And now, here okay so here we see the curtain wall and we see this uh, family the indoor curtain wall the outdoor one and we need a frame just between these two elements uh, i'm going to use a roof um, roof now i'm going to use a component a uh, model in place i think we have something like structural framing we do have structural framing Okay, and uh, I'm going to set the reference plane on grid three. And I'm going to use extrusion. Okay, uh, so I want to create something from uh, this point. I'm going to use a rectangle. This, the, and the, the top corner of this mullion. And I'm going to go all the way down up to this. Okay. And now uh, this is like a solid uh, frame. And now I want to create a, a void here. And uh, since we have two floors, we have level zero, level 15, and level 30, uh, I'm going to. Um, create openings there okay i'm going to use offset uh, one foot is too much let's make this offset zero foot and uh, four inches let's see how to looks like okay four six okay four uh, it doesn't matter. I'm just looking something that looks nice. But uh, so I'm going to uh, offset this and this and this. I'm going to trim okay, just to see what we are doing. Let's uh, finish. And then on the 3D view, no, not this one. I'm going to close if you want to save this. Uh, okay. Uh, on the 3D view, I want you to understand what we are doing. Okay, so we have created this frame, but now we have to give it the right width. So the right width is this one. Okay, so we have adjusted this size, that size, and now we have the frame. We finish the model. Uh, we look at the 3D view again, and we see that there is a frame, this one, uh, connecting the indoor mullion 
and the outer mullion, and it goes slightly. I don't know. It goes up because we need to do something here to let the air uh, go in and let the air go out. Um, as uh, but there's at least we should have like another horizontal uh, element here with with where, where this because imagine uh, that we we have to change uh, this element here if uh, we can change this element here and we can walk here but this is too high so i think we might need another at least at this level we might need another uh, for that frame and we might need another horizontal uh, thing in this uh, direction so let's do it uh, we can do this we can edit in place uh, we can select that we can edit extrusion and then i need to uh, since i have a horizontal emollient here and another there so i'm going to create something horizontal there so first uh, the line and then i'm going to use the offset uh, this is four feet uh, okay four inches sorry i'm going to do two inches up and down then I delete this one. And now I have to trim this. Uh, if we want to trim this and that, we have to split element. So here we do this, and now we have two different lines. We have this one and that one, okay? So now we can trim this, and we can trim that. So... Uh, we can split that element again here and trim again. One and two. And now uh, click OK. Yeah. That's three. Okay. So here we see the three view. We see this. We can finish. Okay, so we can uh, always edit the this extrusion. If we need more uh, horizontal elements, we can easily do it. But I think this is this is good enough. Uh, now uh, we can copy this one. Uh, we're going to need one of these frames remove constraints and we can move it here okay and then we can decide if uh, we need just uh, one two three four or we need just uh, here one in the middle i think i'm going to just place one here move it midpoint there okay this is a short span between these two i think it would be enough but if you need more you can place another one here and another one there if you if you want to okay uh okay so now there's a connection between uh, the structural element and the indoor uh, wall curtain wall in between the indoor curtain wall and the outdoor uh, curtain wall. And we have this connection one, two, and three times. We can have five times. So if you want to copy this here, it's up to you. And uh, now you see that there's a gap here. Uh, and we are ready to create another gap there with louvers. So this is what we're going to do uh, next. 